Hi, in this quick example, I'm going to show you how to model a straight stairs uh, based on the previous studied lecture of Unit 2, Lecture 5. So in the first example, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the array command to be repeat in uh, a linear method, but uh, both in X and in Z axis to create or to change one box into an array of boxes that simulate the existence of a linear, uh, sorry, a straight stairs. So let's go to 3D Studio Max. And basically what I've done, I just model in millimeter, a slab five by five by minus 200. And again, remember that the exit road always minus 200 and it's down while well, this guy is the same and it's placed higher by 3000 millimeter just to simulate uh, two levels, the ground and the first. And I also created a step here, and that's 2,300 for the tread, and the razor is 150. So when you zoom in, that's 150. It's positive value, uh, not a negative like this one. Now I'll select this guy, and it's good, by the way, to practice the align. So I'm gonna align it to that, and in X, Y, Z, I'm gonna position it, position it to pivot to pivot hitting apply and then I'm gonna select only the X and see the minimum and the maximum and honestly you see it's not what I wanted so again flip that minimum to maximum I don't even know uh, which is which I'm just trying them knowing the position X and that's what I want so it's now aligned to, to this so it's supposed to be starting from this point anyway so now I know that this is a 3000 so it's supposed to have 150 high so I'm supposed to have uh, 20 of this and in reality it's not 20 it's 19 but I'm gonna assume it's 20 just to make my life easier so 20 while this is a 300 so I have to push that minus 6000 and again I said it's it's need it's need less than that need less than 20 in reality let's let's do it so let's go array and in here it's one dimensional array made of let's assume it's 20 again it's 19 by the way but anyway come here so in the X the trade is a 300 so give it the X of a 300 if you hit a preview it's gonna be located on the you see on the ground and that's what we don't really need we need to go vertically each 150 which is the same as the razor and the same as the amount of the height of this little step so you know that's it basically what I want so I hit OK now it's uh, perfectly giving us the ability to reach the highest step but remember that the last one we can depend on this you know the height of this if we push that that way we can depend on this as a thread instead, uh, sorry, as a razor instead of the existence of a new one. So I'm gonna delete this one in 19, so 20, uh, 20 vertical line or 20 razor, while you need actually a 19 uh, thread. So I'm gonna move this 19 that I have and I push it uh, exactly 600 mil. And you can see now it's uh, worked perfectly and located perfectly. To that you can go ahead later on and uh, you know increase this the, the length oops they are uh, unique so I have to make them unique so this guy I can go ahead and make it you know if you need to make it uh, exactly located under that and uh, but anyway uh, I think I made uh, my point that's my uh, linear I mean, that's my linear uh, uh, array and I use it in a good architecture a simple and good architecture uh, example which is a straight uh, stairs I can, as you can see here uh, I know there is uh, other methods that you can use basically in the create uh, you can use here there is uh, other architectural tools that you can go ahead and make doors windows and even stairs uh, but I prefer just to explain that for you so you can have a good habit of making simple stairs uh, like this Anyway, thank you very much and have a good day.